Oh my gosh, there. That's him. That's got to be him. What's popping? In my most recent video, I came to this creek right here and I caught a bunch of fish on my little ultralight and it was a blast. Today, on the other hand, I've got a custom made fly rod. Thank you, Chris in Illinois, for sending this to me. Super cool. And then I paired it up with this sweet, bright green fly reel. This is a three weight, five foot, eight fly rod. I'm almost a foot taller than this rod. I always thought fly rods had to be like eight, nine feet long. Apparently not. This thing's sweet. Basically, this is an ultralight fly rod. This thing, I mean, this is going to be super fun for small panfish, small bass, that sort of thing. Okay, as usual, I'm kind of rambling right now. Let's get to fishing. So I'm seeing tons of minnows everywhere. I haven't seen any sport fish yet. Full disclosure, I'm walking the opposite way I walked last time. So I'm actually going downstream. So it's not necessarily ideal, but I'm just trying to do some more exploring. I want to see if there's any more good pools. So this is the fly I'm starting with. I actually tested this out yesterday and I caught multiple bluegill and green sunfish on this little rod and reel, but I wasn't filming. As usual, I am rocking the fanny pack and I've got a little bit of extra gear. So if the popper doesn't work, I'll obviously switch. Oh my gosh, what, what, what the heck? I was literally reeling it in, just ready to move spots, and this guy just torched it. I about pooped myself, it's a green sunfish. What? This guy freaking smashed it. My popper was in like no water at all. Oh my lord. <laughs> Look at that, that's actually not a bad fish. This is exactly the kind of fish that I'm gonna be wanting to chase with this little rod and reel right here. See like, I like my other fly rod, but this thing is so much more fun to me. I like the fact that it's literally five and a half feet long. I don't know why, but I actually like really, I'm, I'm actually good at casting it too. I love this kind of fishing so much. And this rod and reel is gonna give me so many new opportunities to fish in a way that I've never fished before. Man, this is so beautiful though. Oh my gosh, giant carp. You know what? I'm gonna try a San Juan worm. I feel like there's a lot of things that would eat this. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here with an ultralight. It seems like this would be a good location, but it's just not happening. I'm definitely not like using what I'm super confident in because I don't fly fish very often, so I'm not entirely sure. I would have to believe if there was panfish here, they'd be smashing the San Juan worm though. I just have yet to see any sport fish. This water honestly looks super good. Like I don't understand it. I don't get it. I'm gonna go catch fish. I'm gonna go the tried and true. No more screwing around. Holy crap. I just scared something very large. I bet a deer was just bedding right there. I bet it's that same deer I saw yesterday. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me, boys. Back to the popper. Oh, he just nipped it again. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Not eating it all the way. Okay, quick update. I've been super stealthy. I've been here for almost 20 minutes and this little popper, for whatever reason, is getting short strikes like crazy. If it was just a little smaller, I have a feeling these fish would actually be taking it down. Unfortunately, it's just a little bit too big for these lethargic fish. Oh my gosh. Oh, dang. There he is, got him. Oh, <laughs> dude, a big fish smashed it and then this guy came up and hit it oh i got freaked out there for a second that was wild a little green sunfish all right see you buddy it was a beautiful cast and then all of a sudden i saw a big old back come out of the water for it and i swear it was a uh, i think it was a big tank bluegill to be honest finally got one though come get it there oh my gosh you're kidding me how did I even, how did I hook this fish? This is pure insanity, dude. Green sunfish are the coolest fish ever. That's why. Team Dink for life, my lord. I had another one just a second ago bite it and it was definitely about five times that size. Beautiful fish nonetheless. Come eat it, come eat it. There he is. No, he was a dink. Got him, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at this. Guys, what? 
<laughs> this is incredible, dude. The tiniest largemouth I've ever got on fly for sure. Oh my gosh, I did it. That requires serious hook set skills. If you can catch a fish this small, you are a beast. Oh, I'm so happy right now. That just made my day. It's looking like there's a couple more promising pools. I'm thinking from here on forth, it's probably gonna be a, a lot of just, no way. I'm literally just walking. It's dragging behind me. And look at this. I was getting ready to say, I think it's gonna be a lot of green sunfish moving forward. Look at that. I don't know if it's a, it might be a hybrid, bluegill green sunfish hybrid. Regardless of what it is, it's gorgeous. Look at those colors, man. So pretty. All right. See you, homie. So glad I finally found a spot to like consistently find green sunfish. I've been wanting a place like this. Got it. <laughs> well, I upgraded from the last bass a little bit, but it's still um, what we would consider a dink. But look at that, he popped it, man. Nothing big, but always fun. Love you, buddy, love ya. I have worked so hard for the few fish that I've caught. I do have a plan B though, so hang tight, y'all. Oh, got him. All right, the bluegill just chomped it. I think that's my first bluegill. All the other ones have been sunfish. Finally got a bluegill. All the other bluegill have been short striking the crap out of this thing. All right, something just like bit my toe. I think it was just a little minnow just like played with my toe. I did not like the feeling. I did not like the feeling, it was weird. Got him. That's a little bit better, a little bit better. Still not big. Oh, come on. There's a little green sunfish. There. Oh my gosh, he hammered that. That's a better greenie. That's the kind of green sunfish we want. These little fat guys like this. See, look at that, nice healthy fish, beautiful. Popped him right on the top of the mouth. Man, I love that. That's what I was after today. It's taken a long time to get the kind of fish that I wanted. Oh, see you, buddy. Fortunately, after enough patience and persistence, we made it happen. I, I need, oh, what's this? It looks like a dinky, dinky, dinky green sunfish. Um, I'm ready to catch one decent because I wanna show you how crazy this rod is when you hook into a respectable fish. It'll just double right over. Dude, I'm catching some absolute giants today. What the heck is going on? Dadgummit, casting it into trees, man. Well, this is a good opportunity to look what their habitat is. This is just a naturally shady area and there's just big boulders. There's a few trees in the water and it's just in a slack area to where there's not really any current in here. It doesn't look like anything, but it's on a little bit of a bend and it just is deep enough to where they can chill here all day. Obviously there's plenty of minnows and whatnot that'll flush through here and they can feed anytime they want, but they're not constantly burning their energy because they don't have to deal with current here. There's plenty of stuff to hide behind and it's in a slack area. If you can find stuff like this, you're usually gonna find fish, whether that's green sunfish or bluegill or bass, whatever. Okay, folks, change of plans. I am going to leave this spot and I've got another little magical spot where I'm gonna catch some more green sunfish, some hybrids, some bluegill. It's gonna be great. I'm getting a phone call. That'll have to wait. This fly rod and reel is freaking juicy, man. I'm so excited to go catch some more fish on it. So rather than sit here and yip and yap, I'm gonna ditch this creek and head to another. We're gonna go catch some fish. Let's go. Okay, we just got to plan B. Plan B is actually a little spillway section that comes out of Mule Lake. There's green sunfish, there's bluegill, and this is actually where I tested out my popper yesterday and caught several fish. So I like to think that we're gonna be able to put a little flex in this rod. Let's get started. This doesn't get any deeper than like a foot and a half. This is the definition of skinny water fish. Oh, that's gonna get hammered. That's gonna get, got him. I knew it, I saw him coming. He just emerged from the shadows. That was awesome. Look at that. That is just the most beautiful. I love green sunfish, man. Look how beautiful that fish is. So sick. Got him, got him. There we go, I got him. That was sweet, I sight fished this little guy. Man, this is the kind of stuff I love. I don't even care that these fish are small. This is like the most skinny water situation you can find yourself in. And there's just a whole bunch of fish right here. And they are just super fun to watch eat. I can see all these shadows and I just try to lead it right in front of them. And that time it worked. Got him, got him. Yes, yes, this is the kind of, oh, I'm all tangled up. Gosh, dang it. No, oh, this is a good gill, this is a good gill. I can't lose this fish. I don't know what happened there. That's a nice gill, oh my gosh, look at this. I think this is legit the biggest gill in here. He hammered it, he wasn't getting off. God, look at that, that's a beautiful gill right there. Nice and healthy, big fish, and he just choked that thing. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so funny. It's like, it's literally, it's such cheating, man. The amount of fish back here is just so surprising. It's so weird. Anytime you have like a little spillway section where there's gonna be a consistent amount of current and then there's big boulders and whatnot, they're always gonna stack up behind this kind of stuff. I'm just extremely blessed to have this at my side to fish anytime I want. That's guaranteed. There it is, there he is, come get him. Oh, I got him. <laughs> tank that's a tank <laughs> this rod is so sick for fish like this this is the exact kind of fish that i want to be catching on this rod i think i'm going to go throw this one in mule lake because otherwise he's not going to find his way back up there and that's like a pretty nice fish um, i'd prefer it in the lake rather than the the creek you have a new home you're going to the lake oh. <laughs> oh it's too easy guys i need to stop doing this it's too easy there's that fly they love these little flies. These things are crazy cool. I like it. I'll tell you what, today's been crazy. That creek that I went to today, I have high hopes for it. I think I gotta go back there with an ultralight again and explore more because I know there's a lot of potential there. There's a lot of different species that I could get into and I'm really excited to keep exploring it. Exploring it with a fly rod was sweet, but at the same time, I definitely don't have as much confidence in a fly rod that I do at like a conventional spinning reel. Anyways, today's point was mostly just to show you the new fly rod and reel setup and put some flex in it. And fortunately, I had this as my backup plan. It's always good to have a few places that you can always catch fish. That's like I don't know as fishermen it can be really flustering when you go out for hours and hours and hours and never quite figure them out so having some backup plans like this always makes your life just a little bit easier okay let's catch a couple more fish because I am having a blast right now got him there we go I missed him like twice in a row these green sunnies do such a good job of hiding down in the rocks but as soon as you put something up there they show themselves and I saw about five come out from this one rock and this guy hammered it God. I love fly fishing with an ultra, oh my lord. What, see this is cheating guys, totally cheating. I literally dropped my fly down there. This guy just hammered it. I wasn't even casting yet. These fish are insane. Oh, see ya. From the second it lands in the water to the time that I'm hooked up, I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be like instantaneous. I don't even think I could count it. I think it'll happen too fast to even count. Okay, I'll tell you when my fly lands. Just landed, got him. Okay, literally, I don't know, a split second after it lands, they just come up and smash it. And that's where it's important to actually lead the bigger fish that you see, because if you don't, these little guys will get to it quicker. Got him. Oh my gosh. Oh, I did not intend to do that. I just flung him out of the water when I set the hook. Did not mean to do that, but that's what happens when you hook dinks. All right, see you, buddy. Bing, 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 bing. Oh my gosh, he's coming. I like working it really fast because they just come out of nowhere and just hammer it. It's like freaking Jaws, man. That was super cool. God, these are my favorite. It's when a green sunfish is like all dark like this and it just has those orange tips. Man, it looks so cool. Boom, boom. Oh, that is just crazy aggressive. Oh, see you, buddy. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. There's a huge bluegill over there. But I got this guy instead, of course. <laughs> Still a pretty fish. If I can just get it to where he can get it first. Oh, there's a fish. That's not the one I was looking for. I didn't see the big one. That's not a bad fish. It's still fun. I gotta get that one though. There's a really big bluegill right behind this specific rock. Oh my gosh. The bass just absolutely hammer it whenever you work it really fast. They just come in like a heat seeking missile, dude. It's excellent. There's a fish. Not a bad one, not a bad one. I still can't get that big bruiser bluegill. It's just too hard because there's too many fish. The small ones get there first. That's a nice, nice little bluegill right there. But this rod is just handling these fish so amazingly. I love it. Oh my gosh, there, that's him. That's gotta be him. Yeah, that's a giant bluegill. Yes, yes, see that? You see how he pulls on this rod? This rod is so epic. Oh my gosh, tank. How about that? That's more like it. Those are the kinds of fish that I cannot wait to catch on this little rod and reel right here because they just pull so hard on this gear. Bluegill can be so much fun to catch. If you use two pound test in an ultralight, they're great. If you use a little tiny fly rod like I've got, they're great. A lot of people are like, oh, bluegill are boring. Sunfish are boring. Well, that's because you're usually using too heavy of gear. Use light gear and I can promise you that sunfish, bluegill, man, they are a riot.
And this little fly rod right here, like I did not, I was not intending to get this thing, but thank you so much, Chris. This thing is freaking epic. I really should stop beating on these fish, but I'm just gonna catch a couple more. I, I can't help myself, guys. Places like this ruin fishing. Oh my Lord, he freaking pile drive that he missed. <laughs> Places like this ruin fishing because you do this one or two times and then you're like used to the fact that you just absolutely just crush the fish. And then you go to a normal spot and you're like, Oh man, fishing's hard. <laughs> there he is. Oh baby, another nice gill. It's crazy. Gotta just weed through those little ones, but these big ones do exist. Look at that. Like this rod is so cool. Man, they are just, he just pulls so hard. He just choked it too. Look at the colors on that guy. Gorgeous. Look at those lines on him, man. Buddy wants to go home. Go home, buddy. I put it right in front of this giant bluegill and then what happens? This tiny guy just comes up and smashes it. God, they're relentless. It's ridiculous how many fish are in one little freaking five foot pool. And when I say five foot, I mean five foot across, not deep. It's literally like maybe two feet in the deepest section of this. All right, you find the right stretch, man. You can just completely destroy fish all day long. And that's why it's like, I love exploring creeks because I'm just looking for those hidden gems, you know? Yes, this is exactly what I wanted right here. A big old green sunny, look how fat he is. And then look at those colors. This is my favorite color of green sunfish. I love it when they're this dark complexion, that neon blue just pops. Man, these fish are so cool. This is like, I look how beat up he is. Oh man. Sorry, dude. Hope you're all right. I wonder if a bird kind of attacked him. Either way, just such a gorgeous freaking fish, man. I could easily do this all day. I'm only gonna catch one more fish for you. Let's just see what happens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it away from these dinks, man. I'm gonna find me a donk. I gotta see if I can snipe one of these bigger fish. The reality is, wherever I land it, <laughs> I'm gonna end up with a dinky little green sunfish or bluegill, I bet. Okay, there we go, 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 go. <laughs> it's just too easy. It's impossible to pick on one fish because there's just so many that come up and smash it. And it's just another little dinky bluegill. Very yellow. Thanks for, uh, thanks for playing, buddy. All right, I should probably stop beating up on these fish. As much fun as I'm having, they need a break, you know? I, I, they deserve a break. <laughs> um, all I can say at this point is holy cannoli. Today was an absolute blast, boys. Okay, so what's the moral of the story? The moral of the story is that ultralight style fly fishing is absolutely clutch, man. Definitely gonna incorporate more of this in the future. If you guys have any suggestions or, you know, actually, honestly, tips would be great too. I'm not much of a fly fisherman, so feel free to give me some tips and over time, hopefully I'll get better and better. I will say one thing, I'm actually super confident in casting this little rod and reel. Crazy enough, I don't know why. I actually just like the, the size of it. I like the weight. Everything just feels so natural. Okay, I'm rambling. I'm gonna go inside, eat a cupcake, and it's gonna be awesome. Um, big old glass of milk, big old cupcake. Life is good. Check you later.